When I was um, 21, I joined a pool team, like billiards, eight ball. Um, it's a bar league, so I had to be 21 to get into it. And uh, right away, I was the best on the team because I was obsessed with pool ever since I was 14. So I joined this league with my cousin and some friends. And we were playing for Vegas. If we compete locally, we go to Delaware. And right away, we got to Delaware. We're playing in the Vegas match. We won all weekend. And my cousin, who's the captain, puts me in the most important matches as the best player on the team. And this one match was a sudden death match because we ran out of time. Usually it's a race to your rating. I'm rated a seven, highest you can go. I'm playing a two. It should be a seven to two race. Sudden death means one game. Advantage us because I'm the best player in the room. <laughs> but what happened was when I started playing, I suddenly forgot everything, how to do it. I may, missed every ball, let everybody down. We lost. Um, now, I've let many people down over the years, but more on a one-to-one -one basis, letting seven people down at once, it's really tough. Okay, fast forward 18 years later to last month, we're in Delaware again. Same, few of the same people on the team. I'm still up there. You don't lose too much with age with pool. You know, there's not too much to do here. So I'm still really good. My, and Friday night, we're playing. I'm down for nothing. And I'm in the corner while my opponent's playing. I'm praying to our Father, who art in heaven, hell be the name. And I win five in a row. I believe it's answered prayer. Um, now, you might be thinking God has bigger things to care about than pool, and I believe he does, but I also believe he cares about pool because he cares about me. Um, <laughs> Saturday night, we make it to the final match for this Delaware tournament, huge tournament for my team. And again, it's eerily similar to 18 years ago where they're holding out on me to play the last match. It becomes sudden death, meaning we ran out of time. It's not going to be a full race. And we're actually up one point, which means it's going to be two games, me against this other guy. And I'm feeling strong. I just won five games in a row the night before. My cousin comes up to me, he's you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm strong, I'm good, I'm ready to go. I get up on the table, and two games. I only have to win one of them. Only have to win one of them. That first game, this is what's happening, similar to now, actually. Um, my hand's down on the table, it's literally shaking like this. My back leg is shaking, I'm missing every shot. The guy I'm playing is a superstar. He's making just about every ball. He wins that first game, it's one nothing. I still have a chance to win that second game. Okay, I try to look. Almost make eye contact with my team at seven other people, but I can feel like the weight of their eyes on me. They're looking at me, they're not judging me, they're just worried about me. They see my shoulders slump, they see my face sad, they're looking for signs of hope, but they see none. I don't want to look at them in the eye because they'll see even less hope. Um, and I'm praying again, I'm praying like, God, please help me, please help me. That next game happens, same shit, I'm missing every ball. And the guy, still a superstar, still making every ball. Came down to this one point, he's got one ball left before the eight ball. He's got a very easy shot. I still have all my balls on the table, okay? Um, it's an easy, it, it not only is it an easy shot, it's a perfect setup for the eight ball. It's just natural, right? And I'm praying in the corner, and this next thing that happened, I've never seen in my 25 years of playing pool, especially somebody at this level. So I believe it's an answer to prayer when this guy, he shoots, and his tip, the tip of his stick slips off the cue ball. He scratches, so then it's my turn. His other ball goes in, so I have... Ball in hand, I can put anyone on the table. But there's still a problem, I still haven't made a ball yet. And I still have lack of confidence, I'm still shaking. So my cousin Billy calls a timeout on me. He comes up to me, you get one timeout per game. I usually don't get timeouts because I don't need them. But he does, he's like, I don't mean to be like that, I'm trying to be humble because I'm sucking, right? But he comes up to me, he's like, George, he's very intense, he gets right in my face. I'm not gonna tell you how to do this, you can make all these balls 100 times out of 100 in your sleep. But I need you to block all this out, everything that's happening. Just imagine it's me here, your brother's here, your dad's here, and just calm down and make these balls. He steps away. I remember the night before when I beat that other guy, one five in a row. One thing that happened that night, it felt kind of supernatural, where it was my turn to rack the balls because I kept losing. And I did this thing where before I grabbed the rack, I gathered the balls like this and into like a triangle. And I hadn't done that in years, and I remembered that was what my dad did. Okay, he used to do that, and he's the one that taught me how to play pool. And he died eight years ago. He was on the team, actually eight years ago this month. And you know we're kind of playing for him, always thinking about him. He was on the team for like 10 years. And so I'm feeling kind of inspired. So he calls a timeout on me, Billy goes away. I step back, I start making one ball at a time. I'm down to the eight ball. I'm feeling more confident and confident with each shot. And then I step away again from the table. And I just put the stick down, I start doing stretches, start doing <laughs> stuff like this. And I was thinking in my mind, I'm still praying. My, my teammate later, told me, like her friend said to her, hey, is your boy okay? And she's like, yeah, that's just George, that's what he does. Um, and 
And I started thinking in my head, well, God, you know, if he answers my prayer, what about the other guy? Doesn't God love the other guy if he loses? And I think, yeah, the answer is yes, and God will comfort him in his suffering if I beat him, <laughs> right? So I then, I bend down. I, sh you know, I get ready to shoot the shot. And, you know, I don't have the answers as to why there's suffering in the world. I don't really know. Uh, but I know God cares about it. But I also know God cares about pool and cares about me because I made that ball dead center in the pocket like it was on a string. Thank you. Amen. <laughs>